everyone, Flora Sage here. So today's the first of the month and I have been getting a lot of emails from people saying, Flora, I know it's the first of the month and because I send out a first of the month like goal reminder and whatnot. And so I've gotten a lot of responses from that. And if you're on my email list, you should have gotten it. And so anyway, so one of the biggest things that I'm hearing from all of you is that you're frustrated. It's May, you have or had goals or ideas of things that you wanted to do at the beginning of the year, and it's May, the fifth month of the year, and you still haven't accomplished anything. You still haven't made progress. You keep thinking about it, you keep praying about it, or you keep wishing about it, but you still haven't made progress. And so, I want to talk with you a little bit today about that because this is so important. So if you've made a goal for yourself and you say, okay, so I want to lose 10 pounds or I want to gain five clients or whatever, um, ask yourself, is that a true priority for me right now? If it is a true priority, okay, and this is something that we talked about just a few days ago. Um, if it's a true priority, really ask yourself, okay, so why am I choosing, sorry, I have a hair in my eyeball, um, why am I choosing to not take action, okay? Um, why am I choosing to not take action? And you got to really give yourself permission to take personal responsibility, okay? During today's planning party inside the Mastermind Mafia, we were talking about personal responsibility. And we were talking about a topic that triggers a shit ton of people, okay? We were talking about weight, and being overweight and being obese or morbidly obese. And we were talking about the difference between fat shaming and genuinely being concerned for someone's health uh, while you bring up that person's weight. And it was a very interesting conversation and, and it all came down to taking personal responsibility. And so you are the creator of your life. You really are. Uh, some people could argue that and say, no, that's bullshit because I have a partner or a spouse. Um, I have kids. I have all these other things that are influencing things in my life. And so I'm not the creator of my life. Well, yes, you are because you are choosing how you raise your children. You're choosing how you interact, how you interact with your partner <clears throat> or boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, spouse, wife, however you choose to label that person. Um, you're choosing how you show up in your business. You're choosing how you show up with yourself. And when you choose, you that is creating your life. You can choose to show up and say, hell yeah, let's do this. Or you can choose to say, eh, I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm tired today and I don't feel like doing it. And whatever. You know, yesterday I didn't feel like working out, but I sat my ass on my bike. I have an um, recumbent bike over there, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see because my plant's in the way. Anyway, I have a recumbent bike. <clears throat> so, I'm actually going to plug my phone in. So, I didn't feel like it, but I sat my ass down and I worked out for 30 minutes on my bike. And... I did it because I knew that fitness and health is a priority for me. I, a lot of the times, don't feel like doing stuff. A lot of the times, I don't feel like working out, but I do it because it feels good. I feel stronger afterwards. A lot of the times, I don't feel like cleaning my toilet, but I don't want to sit on a dirty toilet, okay? So, there are things that we do in life that we know we want to do or have to do, but we may not feel like doing them, but we just do it anyway. And the interesting thing is that those things that are going to make the biggest impact in our life, those are the ones that people don't do the most. Like getting out of debt, like cutting up a credit card or deleting your credit card on your device. Because you know how like when you go to Amazon.com or you go to Etsy or you go to some of these other places, that you frequent and your credit card is stored or your debit card is stored in your device. And so when you go to check out, it automatically populates the number and you can check out within a matter of moments. If you wanna curb your spending, delete that from your device. So you actually have to get up, go to your wallet 
and well if you don't have your wallet on you and then pull out the card and type the number of the card in and all the other information so you know there's certain strategies and certain things that you can do in order to fix the things that are troubling you okay if you're in debt hire a coach hire a financial coach that's one of the things that i do um you know, one of the things that I've been talking with some of my financial clients about is only check out on Amazon twice a month or once a month. So what does that mean? How many times have you gone onto Amazon in one week and said, oh my gosh, I need toilet paper or I need detergent or I need this or I need that or I need vitamins because I get a lot, I, get, I pretty much get most of my vitamins or my supplements on Amazon. I also get this special line of non-toxic um, household stuff like you know like household cleaners so I get um, the uh, counter spray I get the hand soap I get the dish soap what else do I get um, and like the foaming stuff so anyway so I realized the other day I was doing you know my all my vitamins and I'm like shit I need vitamin d3 and I need primrose oil or something and so I went into my Amazon cart and I found those things and I added them to my cart and then I closed the app I didn't check out, I just closed the app. So later on that day I realized, oh, I need more dish soap. So I popped open my app and I added that to it. And then when I was on there, one of those little ads came up and I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I added it to my cart. Did I buy it yet? No, I didn't, okay? So what I recommend, if you wanna get out of debt or you wanna try to curb your spending, is when you buy stuff on Amazon, <laughs> Rebecca, hashtag Flora is my Yoda. <laughs> She's a mastermind mafia member and we just had some epic, epic, epic conversations today during our planning party. Um, but anyway, so if you shop on Amazon and Amazon is just like making a major dent in your income or finances, check out once a week or twice a month or whatever. But add things to your cart but then close the app and don't actually check out until you are of sound mind and you're not in that buying mode, you know what I mean? And then when you decide, okay, I'm gonna purchase um, things on Amazon twice a month or once a month, what you do then is then you, on the date that you decide, on the first or the 15th, let's just say, I'm going to check out everything that's on, that's literally purchase everything that's in my, my, my Amazon cart. So then you open it up and you look at it, do I still need these things? Um, was this just an impulse buy? Then save them for later and then purchase the things that you know that you need and that are in your budget, okay? So if you want to start bringing in more revenue for your business. Do you have a business coach? You know, this is one of the things that so many times I hear people saying, I don't, I'm, I'm struggling in my business. I don't know what to do, yada, yada, yada. And I ask them, well, who's your business coach? And they're like, well, I don't have one. I'm like, have you ever had a business coach? And most people say, no, I've never had a business coach. That's why you're struggling because business coaches have been there, done that. You need to hire someone, or I recommend that you hire someone who's in relatively the same niche as you, who has been there, done that, who has done what you want to do because they know how to do it. They can walk you through and help you through all the bullshit and all the things that you don't need to do. And they'll save you time, they're gonna save you money, they're gonna save you a shit ton of headaches. And, but a lot of people say, well, I can't afford it. Well, you can't afford not to have a business coach, just like you can't afford to keep staying in debt. You know what I mean? And so this is one of the things is you gotta give yourself permission to know what you know and then know what you don't know, you know? And that's gonna help you get things done in your life. Um, if you wanna lose weight, have you ever successfully lost weight before? If the answer is yes, perfect, do what you did before. If, as long as it's healthy, like I wouldn't recommend starving yourself and then like this one lady I saw on, I don't know, one of those memes or something, um, is she lost like 50 pounds on popcorn and beer. I wouldn't recommend that because in my opinion, that's not a super health, that's not a healthy way at all to lose weight, but it worked and apparently she kept it off for years. So if you wanna lose weight and you've never been able to lose weight before, Hire a coach, hire someone that can help you with your goals. And they're gonna help you first and foremost figure out where you are. So you, okay, this is where you are. Where do you wanna be? And they're gonna help create a plan of action for you to get there, that bridge for you to get there, okay? 
But it, all of this comes down to taking personal responsibility for your life. That's it. You either want it or you don't want it. If you want it, whatever that it is, whether it's being out of debt or having savings or um, finding a mate or creating a business that's thriving or whatever it is, whatever it is, that goal, that, that, that big elusive goal that you really want to, to do and achieve, ask yourself, have I ever done this before? If no, find somebody who has and ask them to take you under their wing to show you how to do it. There, there are free mentorships out there. There are paid mentorships. There's free coaching. There's paid coaching. There's classes, there's books, there's a shit ton of YouTube videos. I mean, if you don't know how to do something, Google it. But one of the fastest ways to get results is to hire someone who has done it before. With that said, I wanna help you get clear on your goals and I have a free gift for you. It's called the Slay Your Goals free gift. This is gonna help you figure out Actually, I'm gonna give you two gifts. Um, they both kind of give you the same thing, but in two different ways. So the first link is for the Slay Your Goals free gift. The second gift is for my one degree shift, which will also help you get even more clear on the goals that you want, okay? So I'm gonna post two links below. I want you to click on both links and download both PDFs. Okay, I want you to read through both of them. If you really want what you say you want, you're gonna do this because this is free advice. This is free guidance that I know 100%, actually a thousand percent, I know is going to help you. Reason being is because my clients who have downloaded these free gifts before they were even my clients and they did them, they saw results. They're like, holy shit, I can't believe this was so easy. Like I did this and like, whoa, you know. So if you really want what you say you want, click both of the links below, okay? And download the Slayer Goals free gift and download the One Degree Shift um, free gift and watch what happens. Not just download it, I want you to actually print it out and read it and then take action and do it and you're going to see results. Um, Rebecca says, best part about you is you don't just give us answers, you ask us questions so that we figure out what is best and help us work through it. Yes, my job as a coach isn't to tell you what to do. I make recommendations. I mean, there's sometimes I'll be like, dude, get your head out of your ass and like start doing shit. <laughs> but I say that in a loving way because my coach says the same thing to me sometimes. You know what I mean? But you know, there are things in life that you're either ready for or you're not ready for. But it all comes down to personal responsibility and priorities. Do you really want what you say you want? And if you do, then just do it. Just suck it up and do it. And you're gonna start to see results and it's gonna be uncomfortable. You know, this is one of the things I talk about in the Elevate program, which is inside of the Mastermind Mafia. And in the Elevate program, it's all about habits and why we have habits, how our habits are even formed, and how we break habits and how we create new habits. And doing something new is uncomfortable because we're doing something new. It's gonna happen, it's gonna be uncomfortable, it's gonna feel awkward, it's gonna feel bizarre, it's gonna feel strange, it's gonna feel like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I remember my, my oldest son, um, right after he turned 18, we were standing right here in the kitchen and he was giving me this look and I'm like, what? <laughs> and he goes, adults don't know what the hell they're doing, do they? I'm like, nope. <laughs> And he goes, um, why? and he, I mean, he was just kind of like looking at me kind of like with, with this, this new sense of like clarity. And I said, no, adults have no idea what we're doing. We're, we wing it and we hope for the best. And, and then I said, however, with that said, we can do that in several different ways. We can ask for help and guidance from people that we know have already done it, or we can just wing it and see what happens. Or we can figure out get, and get really clear about what we want and then do some research. We can Google it or go on and do like a search on YouTube or something and start to research different ways to do certain things and then try it out. But no, I mean half the time adults don't know what the hell we're doing. We just try to figure it out. 
But the cool thing is when you do start to figure it out and you do start to recognize patterns and you do start to recognize that life is all about taking personal responsibility and just deciding to do something and then just do it, life gets a whole hell of a lot easier because you're not relying solely on yourself and solely on your ability to just wing it. Because sometimes winging it is hard and it gets exhausting. So if you're done winging it and you really want to start to get some clarity and some focus on your life or in your business, like I said, I got two free resources for you, no strings attached. Click both links below, the Slay Your Goals free gift, and then the other one is gonna bring you to the front page of my website and a pop-up is gonna pop up. I want you to click on that and sign up for that free gift. It's a one degree shift free gift. It's gonna have, both of these are gonna help you get super clear about your goals, or at least one goal, and help you figure out exactly how to get it. Now, after you sign up for these free gifts and download them and read them and do them, if you want my help, I want you to send me an email, flora at florasage.com, or private message me here on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on my website, just message me, flora at florasage.com, and say, hey, I downloaded your free gift and I have a question, or I want you to help me with this, or oh my God, I did this and this is the result that happened, or these are the results that happened, okay? But like I said, all of this comes down to taking personal responsibility in your life and just deciding what you want and say, yes, I absolutely am ready to do this. I am ready to take personal responsibility. Because like I said, it's the first of May, it's Beltane or May Day, and this is the time where you can choose to take action this year. It's not too late. Well, it's never too late. But we've already been through four full months of this year. How much progress have you made towards your goals? If you made goals at all for yourself. And if you're just rocking it, then take this advice with a grain of salt and just do what you keep doing, okay? Or keep doing what you're doing. But if you haven't set goals, if you haven't seen progress, if you feel like you're floundering, if you feel like you're just sitting here going, what the hell, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing or why I'm not seeing results, click the links below, download it, do it, and then let me know how it works for you, okay? I love you and I really want you to succeed, all right? Okay, now the next thing is I want you to like this, I want you to comment, and I want you to share this with someone who you know will love this and find value of it, okay? Natalie said, 0% of my goal, sadly. Well, the fact that you admitted that, Natalie, is huge. So now, the only place you have to go is up and forward, right? Which is perfect, yay! So you should celebrate. If all of you out there watching this, if you realize I haven't gotten jack shit done this year, perfect. You are now recognizing where you're at, okay? So the second step is where do you wanna be? What is your goal that you want for this year? What is your goal? Get super clear and that's what these free gifts are going to help you do, okay? So don't get pissed off at yourself. Don't get judgy or preachy or whatever with yourself. Just honor where you are and be like, okay, so I've taken a four month break and now I'm ready to rock it, all right? I love you all, click the links, let me know how this helps you, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Mwah.